Oh, I think I can fly through this. All right. So never mind the name. Uh, I got some slides. I can send these to you also. So here's the pitch. Watching it, simulation of this eight-way race. I see it up there, and there's a link I'll send you to a bunny race. So you have a. Uh, there's the simulation. There's the crowd of traders. They continually adjust their portfolios of cash and betting slips. So all on the table, you're here. You'll see people's cash and betting slips, and uh, the eight -way, once the eight way race finishes, there is a winner. One of the those colors is going to win. Here it was orange, and the betting slips of that winner will pay off for the final holder of each slip. So as the race is, as the race is playing out on the videos, you're gonna watch people buying and selling those, those cards from each other. So here's an overview of the game. Uh, the bunny race is a little bit more compelling. It's a little bit easier to, to, to think about, um, but I'm just gonna fly through this. There's a, this is, it shows a random walk where you can go. Um, there's a total of 10 rounds, each color, uh, each colored score will be moved by a certain amount, a wager with a certain probability. And below on the bottom here, the um, race is showing out in this graphic form. All right. So this again, um, more about the simulation. This wager amount is a sort of a move that the color could go um, during this round. So red here could go plus 46, minus 46, or be unchanged with uh, those uh, probabilities. So it's a random walk. And um, that's, uh, that's really what you need to know the, those probabilities in order to do some basic pricing or some Monte Carlo simulations, if that's, if that's where you're into. Um, then we have uh, here, uh, orange won the race. So uh, all bets on orange settle to 100 and all other bets settle to um, zero. So uh, red, red, uh, red settled to zero. Uh, red actually went bust in that last one. So here's the overview of the game. You see um, the big thing is this crowd of traders and these traders to the left of the screen, they're watching a game play out on that screen and that, um, that, or that race play out on that screen. And there, there you see all their portfolios. Each kid is, um, and, and I are, we're sitting in front of our, our portfolios of uh, cash and currency. So here we have typical dialogue. This kid goes eight bid. I'm I outbid her. I say nine bid. Uh, this this um, kid in the back says gray of ten. She's this girl uh, kid over to the right changed made a market in blue. Fifteen bid at seventeen. We'll talk about making markets. I yell buy gray for ten. Um, another kid uh, here. Well, the font says, huh? The fonts in red, but the color says blue. Oh, well, um, she says blue to bid and sold, right? So that uh, that uh, that kid back there is clearly talking to the uh, to the kid like growing up in the on the left there. Okay, so the most basic version, you start with four cards of each color and $400 in liquid cash. Um, here, if someone finished with this, we can P&L this portfolio. So we have a total of three orange, that's $300. And then we have uh, 357 uh, liquid cash. So this is how we wound up. And so that comes out to 657, take away 800, your starting portfolio. So uh, it's $800 is your starting portfolio. Um, it's just because it is, uh, you have four colors, of four of each color. So you're guaranteed that's $400 of colors and $400 of cash. Okay, so this person had a thing for red. They really bought a lot of red. So here, the language of markets is precise. Buying words, bid, buying four, eight bid for blue, I'll pay 10 for red. And there's the, the most abbreviated way to say it. You just say, um, you say three big blue, or three for blue. And here's some more selling words. There's some selling words, offer at, sold, blue at 11, red offer at 13, yep. And then sold, selling green at three. So these are some nevers, never use at, use for when bidding, never bid below an established bid. Okay, ask for the market, don't assume anything, check your trades, don't take, never take it personally when the market moves against you. Um, so these cards tell you what to do, these broker cards, but I'm out of time.